let's let's do this. All right. So this is the patch. You take wires and you attach each one to a post of a guitar or any stringed like metal stringed instrument. This is nice. It has frets. What we're going to do is we're going to use the frets as conduits. So here we have white is ground, green is bass, drum, red is snare, yellow goes over to 16, blue to got four, and then a pulse converter, and black goes to uh, black changes midway. My bad. Black goes to uh, the two over here, the two to the converter. So what we can do is when we connect it on a fret. All right, and that's just the ground, and then we got like. So you can keep them together. You can separate. Let's turn the effects off. You can get all nice and wacky wide, but triggering directly so we can go over here boom 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 and you see sometimes they'll affect each other because you got connections but you know it is what it is have a little fun organismic style all right so that's it for that part I have more, but uh, for advanced mode, I have soldered a bunch of patch points onto here, and we're just going to do a real quick example, my favorite one so far. So I have here, a this green is going to um, the CV switch. It opens at this VCA, actually, it goes to this VCA. It opens it, which is going to open a feedback loop that also feeds to the revert. So, since we have the ground to the E string, we can just... Okay, that's fun. So then we... Eh. Eh. Yep, we messed up there. Switch came up. This one is poorly done, but whatever. Notice it opens too with the rhythm, but since they're all pulses and what have you, it's brief. That's the, the Pulsitar patch, or the uh, Acoustic Mod Matrix. So, more and more frets, more dimensions. It's a good old time. This is, this is lovely. Enjoy. <laughs>